So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is cut the ribbons and tags off of these signs. I'm using Waverly chalk paint in white. I'm going to paint the entire backside of these two hearts. I believe I used two coats, but this goes on pretty thick and two coats should do the trick. Once your two hearts are completely dry, you're going to start going down the middle with one inch painter's tape. Then you're gonna put another piece directly to the right and one piece directly to the left, peel up the middle piece. Continue doing this until you have stripes of tape, no tape, tape, no tape across both ways of your heart. And do this for both hearts. Next, we'll go in with our Waverly chalk paint in ballet slipper. I buy this at Walmart, and you're just going to paint where there is no tape. This will give you your first layer of stripes for your Valentine Buffalo check plaid. <laughs> Once this is completely dry, you'll peel up your painter's tape, but I keep these pieces because you will be putting them back on a little bit later. Next, you're going to do the same thing with painting, excuse me, putting the tape stripes down and then peeling up the middle one until you've gone all the way down your heart shape. I made a slightly darker pink this time by adding a little bit of crimson chalk paint to my ballet slipper. It just gave a slightly darker pink. Again, you will paint between the pieces of tape to make the darker pink stripes for your buffalo check plaid. Notice you are not removing the tape from the second set of stripes. Instead, now you are going to put your original pieces of tape back over where they were before. This is going to give you your check pattern. Now you are going to take your chalk paint in crimson red and paint in all the squares. Again, you will want to make sure this is completely dry. And the most satisfying part of this project is now you will take all the strips of tape off and voila, you will have a beautiful Valentine's red, pink, and white buffalo check. Next, we're going to just take some hot glue and glue these two hearts together, kind of offset of each other. 
I chose for this step to use some pink rickrack that I just had on hand, but you could use ribbon, you could use baker's twine. I just wanted to go around the outline of both hearts just to give it a little bit of a finishing touch. And I apologize that I am zoomed in a little too close. Again, this is my first DIY video, so thank you for understanding. But I think you get the idea that the Rick Rack goes all the way around the entire two hearts together. And then I am going to do all the way around the left heart so it looks like it stands out more from the back heart. I didn't do that at first, but you will see it in the final project. Next, I'm taking this Love Mirrored Decal, and I'm just putting some hot glue on the back, and I'm attaching it to the center of my two hearts. I will also be adding two of the smaller hearts that were included in the package. The last step is to take some jute twine and to feed it through the holes that were already on the hearts. And this will give you a way to hang your two hearts. Thanks for watching. Please like this video if you want to see more like it and consider subscribing. Bye.